A lot of ultimate Frisbee. A lot of, uh, it was, you know, I think we were just trying to get the shows done without uh, being too circumspect so that we didn't get melancholy. You know, I think it was just more, let's enjoy each other's company, do the best shows we can and, and, and push to the end. We, I think, you know, I don't think we, we reflected on it a whole lot until after Born to Run. And we all sort of looked at each other and did a, a little bit of a, oh, that, that, was, that was fun. Uh, we're very excited about it. It's gonna be a really great uh, new show. And I'm Jubin Parang, I'm the head writer for The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. Um, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a really great show, and, and it's gonna be a fun show, and it's gonna be awesome, but the foundation that, that John has given us here as, as writers and producers is, is gonna be... I would say it's gonna be a great show, and you can quote me on that, huh? <laughs> Jubin Parang, great show. But the foundation that John has given us is gonna make it, it's gonna great. make it incredible. It's gonna be fantastic. Right. Great, I would say. <laughs> Uh, no, not, not really. I mean, you, you, uh, if I had known life was like on the other side, I probably would have left earlier. It's, uh, it's fucking fun out there, man. You can do whatever you want during the day. You can get a smoothie at two. Uh, I, you know, I'll, I'll see what, what the day... I may just end up on a boat somewhere floating out to an island. I'm not even sure yet. No, I would consider getting in a rocket and going to another planet because clearly this planet's gone bonkers. A lot of people will come up to me, and it's interesting, on the street, and they'll say, wow, you are a lot shorter and older in person than I would have thought. Without makeup, you look sick. <laughs> I, I get that a lot. Uh, it's, it's hard to say, you know, most people are, are generally very nice, but it is New York, so people will yell certain things from cars that they might not yell in other places. Well, now that I'm out on television every night, obviously I'll, I'll do a lot of it uh, in my living room generally in my underwear, yelling at the TV. Um, but in, in, uh, as far as Trevor's concerned, you know, he's such a talented guy and, and has such a, uh, a great foundation for this that it's not a question of you know, give, giving him advice. It's just being there to support if, if he ever feels like just chatting about what it's like to, to do the show. But he's got the best team in the business behind him, and he's great, so I don't, I, you know. Last thing they need is, is old Pope peering around the corner to new Pope going, is that how you're gonna bless the wafer? All right. You know, so it's, I, I think they're gonna very quickly develop their own style and, and, and grace with it. Now, I was under the impression that we had fixed all that with the show, I, I but you're saying we're still dealing with these Apparently issues? We still have Son of a them. bitch. Um, it, it's, it's that, that's, that's so much of a larger question than I think a, a comedy show could ever you know, ho hope to answer, I guess it's, maybe, maybe hopefully one day there will be a comedy show that goes, uh, we figured it out, here's your answer. But until then, I think definitely Adult Swim comes closest. Thank you very much.